Hey, what's up? It's me, L.A., pronounced like L.A., like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Welcome back to another Celebrity News and Tanks. Man, what's going on with TGIF Fox? So, it was about a, a few months ago when I was up here whining and crying about what's going on with the, you know, Funky Dineva not being a part of the trio, which was Al Reynolds, Claudia Jordan, and then at the time, Funky Dineva. I'm looking right now on my timeline. Funky Dineva fired. This was five months ago. It seemed like almost a year ago because so much stuff has come down up and through the turnpike by ways of social media. It seemed like it's been a year in between. Because I don't even think that Cat Williams thing had happened yet. It was the Funky Dineva leaving Fox Soul thing. And then some time went past, and then the cat was and all this crazy stuff been happening, unboxing. I have another YouTube video, um, looking through my timeline now, where, oh wow, okay, let me scroll back up. Hang on, I'm looking right now, and then you'll see the, the video picture as the video plays. Oh, uh, where are you, video? I had you queued up. Funky Dineva, not on TGIF anymore. That was five months ago. And then four months ago, TGIF, Claudia Jordan, unfollows Al. And then let the games begin. And it was off to the races with the um, platform trying out different guests to see who will be the best fit or better fit for replacing Funky Dineva. Now, a few days later, four to five days later, I did take a break on social media and I'm still kind of taking the break right now. I go through my timeline and I see TGIF canceled. I'm seeing Foxo over. I'm seeing stuff like, oh, uh, Armand Williams fired. It's over. The Fox Soul TGIF? I'm like, what's going on? I didn't even have the mental capacity to even open up and listen to any of the videos because it's just been so much stuff going on with, you know, the whole unboxing of Cat Williams and him starting the chain reaction of everybody wanted to speak their truths, followed by what Cassie did, and that opened up another can of worms. And the beat goes on. So I was like, I just needed a break from all that. I started listening to other things on YouTube that was totally polar opposite of what's got the YouTube streets on fire. I just want to lightly touch on this because it's messed up. I hope this is a joke. But that's not a good way to joke because it's starting to seem like an unfortunate pattern. There's TGIF, there was Cocktails with the Queens, then that got canceled. There is now, you know, uh, Funky Dineva, he's gone. Now, allegedly, what it appears to be, there's some rift going on now amongst the TGIF trio of Al Reynolds, Claudia Jordan, and now Armar, Armand Wiggins that he might be getting the can. I did hear slash watch a video clip. I think it was provided on um, Make It Make Sense memes. Shout out Make It Make Sense memes. Do, 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 make it make sense, da, 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 make it make sense. What's up? I did, I think it was his platform where I was able to see slash, I'm here a clip of the, man, the roasting that Armand delivered to Al Reynolds on his birthday. Shout out Al Reynolds, happy birthday. I'm glad you made it through another year. I hope everything gets more clear for you. And that you continue to make more intentional, healthy steps in your life. When I did hear that roast, that wasn't a roast. That was a straight up diss. That was my first vibe and I didn't like it. It felt like Armand Wiggins was actually coming to Al for someone. Unfortunately, that's the first vibe I got. And that's unfortunately what I'm sticking with. It was too hardcore. It was too serious. I just... You guys, I just didn't like it. It didn't feel right. And I'm thinking about it now. It still don't sit well. I know that's what Armand does. He will read someone. You know, basically just talking about people like how kids did 
in high school, not high school, yeah, high school, elementary, you know, with the jokes and stuff, but not to the point where it picks apart the character. I didn't like it. So I'm not sure if that's what's got a lot to do with the undoing of TGI Friday again in reference to another um, star host leaving. I just didn't like it. Like I said, it felt like he was reading out on the behest of someone else. And I'll leave it there. I think he went too far. Al handled himself well. I'm sorry that that happened. I don't know if that's a reflection of what's been going on in the background when the cameras are off, you know, and there's just controversy amongst co-workers. Who knows? What is happening again, and it seems like the same stigma and tension that Funky Dineva um, talked about when he went on his rent after he didn't want to hold water anymore and just basically confessed to everyone what happened. It was just some mess going on in the background and he didn't like it. Uh, I don't like this pattern that's happening. All I want is for this platform to win. And all I want is for to see my people win, i.e. Afri African American people to win. I don't like that these rifts are happening and I don't think this is staged. If it's staged, it's kind of disgusting. Yet yeah, it's working, but it's still disgusting because now it's like, um, Armand wasn't even on there five minutes and he might be canceled. Dude, I hope you were able to budget the money that you did get from them to help stabilize you for future payments of like, if you're living in an apartment or for rent in general, I hope you had enough to at least get you squared away for three months in advance. It's not like your career is over because you have um, your other YouTube channel up and going, but that's yikes. You weren't even on there that long. And now it's speculations, high speculations that you might be getting the ax and Fox Soul in general, well, TGIF, the aspect of Fox Soul might be getting dissolved. However, it is said that they are going on a hiatus. They've been on the hiatus before. What show don't go on the hiatus? Ellen DeGeneres show used to go on summer vacation. Everybody needs summer vacation. Heck, teachers are on summer vacation. So I just don't like it. It's messy in the way that's unprofessional. Whoever works or takes the place, unfortunately, if Armand Wiggins is replaced, just be advised that the checks may not last long. So budget your money when you get it. Because I heard that they get paid really well. More than minimum wage. Enough to change your life. Enough to get you solidified and stable. Enough to keep your head more than above water. I hope that if someone replaces Armand Wiggins, unfortunately, that he or she... Use your money wisely because I don't even know how long you're going to last to be on there. That's scary and that's shaky. That's very shaky. Like I said, Armand wasn't even on there like for a full season of the year. You know, like spring, summer, winter, fall for a quarter of the year. And things are looking rocky. How can you financially rest your head on that, but only just plan for that? I might just only be on here two weeks and make the most of it. Maximize your other platforms that you have, like Funky Dineva and Armand Wiggins and Claudia Jordan. Al, all, they all have separate YouTube accounts apart from um, TGIF. Like I'm saying, this is gross. I don't like it. And whoever's walking on the territory of wanting to potentially be a candidate to replace Armand Wiggins, tread carefully. I'm not going to block your blessing, but just be advised that it may not last that long at all. You cannot rest your head on that anymore. It's so sad because I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's not a safe bed to rest in anymore. I don't like it. It's obvious by pattern something is going on. And it seems deceitful. I'm disappointed. Collectively. 
of how the situation has unfolded. If this is a dramatization just to get things going, fine, but I still think it's disgusting. Everybody is so talented. So brilliant in their own way. Why would you do this? Nothing's promised anymore. Why would you play with your future like that, all three of you? It's disturbing. And I just don't like it. My name is LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Um, I'm out. Thank you for listening.